excuse me, I'm going to take you to a five minutes um, higher, well, to the future. Um, I'll start with somebody else famous, maybe you like him more than me. Please, please, come on in. But only because it's you, Mr. Clooney. Restretto as usual. Please come in, but only because it's you, Mrs. Martin. Valudo, as usual. When I come here, I always feel like a star, don't you? More or less. You're a shredder, Mr. Clooney? Ah, thank you. You see? When I tell you. Um, wouldn't it be great to, beamed up, to be beamed up in an advertising like that? Um, that's exactly what we do, or what we will do uh, in a year from now. Um, actually, at the moment, we're capturing people, which we're beaming up to the internet, which will have lots of possibilities um, to use the data with it. We came from the film industry, so we did all the Angelina Jolie's Tom Cruise for the last six, seven years. Um, and our idea is to move that to the end consumer market, so not only the stars where they work days, sometimes weeks on the data, to make them look good. Um, so we will we create the possibility for basically everybody in this world to be captured and, and work with their own data. Um, I'll start my slides now. Ah. They're gone. I'm sorry guys. Messed up my setting. This is costing me minutes, seconds. Answer on me. Um. So far for technology, so we tested it all before and it worked perfectly. Slide show. Start from the beginning. Whoops. That's us. This is what we use our 3D evolution scanner. It actually scans people, beams them up to the internet, it takes about 0.025 seconds to scan. It takes about seven minutes to actually merge the data, uh, send them up to the internet, spits out the QR code so you can log into your own account and see your data. Now what happens from there? Actually, you did the create, so you have a user account online. Um, we do a lot of uh, cloud storage of the data and you have the possibility of energizing the data. So that means that you have 3D data which you can work with without needing any 3D software, without needing any knowledge or any computer, actually. Um, and you can choose by energizing the data what you want to do with it. Now at the moment, you will have the options of, for example, 3D printing it, so you have a 3D sculpture or whatever you created. Um, you can, for example, tweet it or email it, Twitter it. Um, you can also, um, within a month or two, put yourself in a game. So instead of playing with an avatar, you can play with your own real self. Um, at the moment, there are a few ways of filling in the pipeline. We developed a special a scanner, 3D capture, to, um, to actually capture products. Uh, that's already in the end consumer um, shop uh, right now in, uh, in London. We're selling it for below 1,000 um, euros at the moment. From there, you can again put your data in the cloud. You can energize it, just choose whatever you want to do with the data without any, any of the knowledge and, uh, and move on from there. Um, the other part is doing people. Um, people actually is, is, is what we're best at worldwide. Homeland Human Security did a study on that about two years ago. Um, it's unique because we developed steady scan motion compensation models, which is very important. Even in the 0.02 seconds that you capture a person, your heart will be beating, you will be breathing, um, so you need motion compensation. Further, our algorithms are very good at capturing hair and very difficult um, reflectancy objects. So that's all very important in capturing people. Um, so that was our start for developing this 3D evolution scanner. Um, now what to do with it? Just by selling products, we won't go into this worldwide market, so we have uh, events. And we have partners, and our partners will use our technology to show their link with uh, with the new uh, with the new revolution, basically. So, for example, Mini is using us on a day-to-day -day basis on different events 
to show off with our technology and to fill the pipeline with all people who can then use our data. So now we're looking for new partners to conquer the world. Basically, we will stick to our professional market and it is um, and consumer market. We look for new partners, around 15 million, and we want to start in Asia and the US. Thanks. Those extra seconds. <laughs> Okay, so you guys in the back need to sh sh keep it down. It's hard to hear enough as it is, right? So hands up high. I'm going to ask a first question. Just so I'm clear, you 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 digitally placed somebody else in the George Clooney clip. Anybody? Who but that that was an example of that. Uh, it was not an example. We do that in film on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, 90% of the new movies coming out, uh, our professional equipment is being used. The whole trick is to bring it to the end consumer market and to automate the whole process. So it was like a CGI? Oh, yeah. Hands up high for Denise. I can't be the only one with questions. So, do you also get people access to the raw data? The, the vertexes? The you, can actually, you can actually choose. When you're going to share your data, you have the option of sharing so that somebody else can only view it. It will be an HTML5, so you're not sharing the data at all. You can choose to share it and give somebody else the option to reshare it, so it can be spread. Or you can share it and give somebody else the option to actually use the data. So that means you'll be giving away your actual data. Actual data. Future purposes for actual data could be, for example, your clothes made to fit, um, your physician, medical purposes, a lot of differences. Bobbleheads. Sorry? Bobbleheads. Bobbleheads. That's an easy one. That's, that's right now, today. Um, for example, holograms, also possible today. So can you tell us about some of the meetings that you might have had over the last couple of days? We had quite some nice meetings. We had a talk at Google. Um, I was at Disney. At Disney, they use, maybe some of you went to Disneyland. Uh, at Disney, they use something uh, similar. Part of our R&D team uh, split up. Some of them live in Zurich and some of them live in Belgium. And the Zurich group is all working for Disney and the Belgian ones are working for us. Um, in Zurich, they have uh, similar things. They're being sponsored by Disney. One thing they don't have is that they cannot capture the hair. So for the people who are scanned at Disneyland at the moment, um, they will be put in a mask for Star Wars and the girls will become princesses with long hair. That's basically, you know, to um, not to show that they cannot do their hair and to have a mixed up. So we're one step ahead. Um, but we didn't go into the really end consumer market until this year. We did already do some tests in entertainment parks for about um, three months last summer. Um, so now we're ready for the world, basically. Um, I think, excuse me, I, you're, uh, you're right. I can't see Hello. Yeah. Right. Uh, basically, Sorry, I yes, <laughs> we think you have an amazing product. Uh, but what are you offering the investors? Because you're here to pitch for capital, so yeah. what would you... Uh, what are, what are we offering? Yes. Well, it's a, it's a great technology. We have two spots. So at one spot, we, we still have our professional market. We're doing fine there. Um, on the 3D pollution market, we already have our partners. Um, what we're offering is basically you know, a joint ride into the future. And we're looking for a partner who's really an added value. Um, 50 million look the same in Asia, in Europe, and in the US. Um, but we think what we might get here more is added value to pull us up and put it on us on the right platform because you can do amazing things with this technology and we want to do it fast. Can you show us what's uh, on the corner over there? What's going on? That's, um, that's a small hologram. So that's one of the energizing options you have today. Uh, it's basically, it's a, this small piece of plastic is patented, um, but you can do it on any iPhone, any tablet. So it's great for marketing or commercializing. You can give out one cent costing handouts, and you can create a hologram from every phone or tablet or computer. And it's all in just one click of the energize button. Isn't it cool? And you pr how do you price it for your clients? This is for free. In the beginning, well, we have several options. Can I go back one slide to explain it? Sure, we have 30 seconds. 
You asked the question already. No. So we have several options of uh, how we earn. Basically, in every stage, a little bit. First, we sell the products. When we work together with a partner, we get paid to be on an event. When we sell the body scanner, obviously we, we get money for that. Or small products laying in the store, we get money for that as well. The cloud, currently everything's for free. Not everybody has a lot of data, so we want to promote as many as people in our platform. Uh, in the future, probably about two years from now, we'll have a subscription fee for the heavy users. Energize is a pay-per-click, about 70 cents per click of what you want to do with the data. And then the action part is the percentage of our partners where we send the data to them, what they do with it. 3D printers, for example, they earn a lot of money because of their materials. So we get a percentage of them. Oh, very nice. Congratulations. Good stuff.